Ladies and gentlemen, the Fury Warrior! This one's kind of difficult to cover because warriors are certainly divided on what they think about this one. So I'll bring to you the nuts and bolts of what the hell is going on. And then we can talk about opinions and stuff and why the warrior community is either embracing big open arms or in fact shunning it and having a little bit of a whine. I'm a little disappointed in the warriors, honestly. While checking and doing some research and stuff, I found most of the topics regarding warriors to be full of whiny bitches, honestly. Really quite sad. There was lots and lots of good posts as always, but mixed in there is one of the whiniest forums forums i've seen in a long time now not to say that some of that is not deserved the warrior has gone undergone a huge transformation from mr pandaria and it's gonna hit a lot of people in the face who haven't really checked out the ptr which is most people they don't want to go around logging ptrs and stuff they got things to be doing in the live game or the games to play and therefore when it actually arrives they might be like oh oh my god it's not difficult to see that the ability pruning or culling has in fact hit the warrior one of the hardest. And of course the biggest one that's hit Fury is that Colossus Smash is no longer a thing. It's a very, very retro style of Fury is what I would call it. It feels like a very retro style of Fury, but still in a kind of modern era. We talked about it a couple of times on web shows, is that Blizzard put out a rather large statement when Colossus Smash was Fury uh, was removed, as it was such an integral part of it, right? If you play Fury in Mists of Pandaria, it's unlikely you don't really know why Colossus Smash was, in fact, the most important spell in your arsenal. And they put out a big statement saying, you know what? It just isn't the way Fury is intended to play. It's as simple as that. It's like a Frost Mage casting fireballs. It's not what we want to see. It's too meticulous, too formulaic. It has too much reliance on one spell of building up resources and making sure you've got charges there and really bringing a methodical style of play to a spec that, in theory, is supposed to be very wild and un unabashed and just going for it absolutely balls to the wall all the time. Now... This has created, obviously, this big divide of people who really enjoyed the Colossus Smash window style of play. And we'll just call it the Colossus Smash style of building up those resources and trying to maximize their output during Colossus Smash and seeing huge numbers and all that kind of stuff. People fell in love with that and actually really enjoyed it. However, many people did not. About, you could say an equal split, but I would be pulling numbers out of my ass. Let's just say there's plenty on either side of the fence. So when Colossus Smash was removed, a lot of the Fury Warriors who obviously enjoyed the Colossus Smash style of play went... Oh shit. Now it just feels like spam fest, spam fest, spam fest, spam fest. And I don't like it. I don't like it. And that's understandable. That's absolutely understandable. In gameplay wise, I love it. <laughs> I'm the other guys. I'm the other guys. I'm a more classic style of Fury Warrior who enjoyed it pre Colossus Smash. It's interesting to look at a lot of the people who are the who are really, really against the change of Colossus Smash and see that a lot of their posts and when they first started. Uh, interjecting on WoW forums in general across various websites was around Catter Time. These are the guys who joined maybe after Wrath of the Lich King. For the most part and in general, again, could be completely pulling numbers out of my ass, but that's just the trend that I noticed. Yet the older school style of Warriors who've been posted for many years, or, you know, a few years before that, and even during Wrath of the Lich King, were like, we, we really don't like Colossus Smash. That's not why I rolled the class in the first place. When I decided to play a Warrior, it was with no idea of a spell called Colossus Smash ever existing, and certainly not that the spec would revolve around that style of play over the next couple of years, and quite glad to see it disappear. Yeah. So what's the big change in gameplay and whether or not you're going to like it? This is pretty simple, really. Instead of waiting for Colossus Smash, it's always an ongoing and evolving rotation uh, priority system. An ever-evolving priority system. So instead of saying, okay, well, I have this to kind of get rid of, but I need the resources soon, it's more a case of I have a couple of resources to use. And there's very, very, very rare occasions where you don't have a choice of, like, three things that you can do. Yeah, there's three or four different things that you can do in each and every moment and you have to decide what to do. Do I raging blow here? Can I store this raging blow until my trinket procs? Can I then use a wild strike? Can I bleed off the rage? Am I at 90 rage and I don't want to get rid of that? Should I use the next bloodthirst? Should I whirlwind here in fact? Should I do something else? And it's a constant, 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 constant ongoing process and I like that style of play instead of being building up to this watchful eye. Now... I think personally it's absolutely fantastic. I feel once again, as I did back in the back in the previously with my Fury Warrior, is that I was a caged animal. Just let me out and I will just constantly rip and tear and rend this motherfucker down. 
Okay, I'm not using a big two-hander. I'm not going for the slow, methodical swings. I'm not going for that. I'm going to hit this thing as hard as I can, as fast as I can, all the goddamn time. And it's brutal, and it's not going for precision like with a rogue. It's going for absolute non-stop big hits, looking for crits and just smashing face. And I personally like it. The, um, one of the things that is causing a lot of issue on the forums on forums okay and it's worth mentioning because if it's such a big controversy there it's likely to be for the people watching this video is is it much easier now it's entirely subjective there are many people who have forgotten who have forgotten what fury was like at the beginning of mr pandaria before you started getting gear and it was horrific in fact if i went back and checked my 5.1 type stuff fury was absolutely awful dog boring hated it disgusting and then of course gear got involved gear got involved and it wasn't until say Woo, what throne of thunder ish maybe that you started getting more regular income of raging blows and then of course by siege of ogremar and certainly in heroic gear we were in the situation where there was so much gear so much regular crits that this idea of the colossus smash build up kind of became less and less relevant as time went on because you were more readily available uh, to gain the resources. You could be more predictable with it. And you didn't have to keep storing stuff and having this delay. And in fact, you could easily start filling up your global cooldowns very well. So, for those people who recognize that it wasn't such a big deal. And isn't such a big deal on live if you're appropriately geared. They're not in any sort of issue of saying that, you know, it's not a difficult thing that we were doing in Mr. Pandaria. But... On the other hand, there's some people who find that kind of stuff and pre-planning and watching trinkets and stuff rather difficult. And therefore, they're saying that was an, a, an interesting aspect that they liked. That is certainly kind of going away. As I said, now it's more of a raging blow by raging blow basis, but you are regularly generating raging blows. So it's 50-50 it's on whether you're thinking it's more brain dead. I personally can argue it either way. I can argue it either way. I don't... It's Again, it's a totally subjective thing. Personally, I don't find the Colossus Smash window that difficult to handle right i don't i had the good opportunity today after reading how much controversy this was to actually get to play a fully heroic geared warforged warrior it ain't no big deal to me but other people find that a big deal and actually find that a very very appealing part of the class that's going away there's no doubt about that and it will change it's not becoming super brain dead easy as some people are calling this a four button spec it isn't it isn't at all. There's no way you can say that. Even talents bypass that completely. So it's going to be either way. I think people over time will get used to it and probably forget about the old style of play. Some people who don't like that maybe can look towards a different spec that actually still revolves around very sort of bursty windows. And there's lots of specs that still do that. Personally, I love it. Absolutely love it. I have been great fun with it. It feels like a Fury Warrior. And that's something I have been craving for a very long time, as have many others. S ever since it really became Colossus Smash-centric, it has not felt like the spec I wanted it to be, and the spec I chose, more importantly. The spec and the reason. And while I understand people say, you know what, if we're sticking to class descriptions, there are other specs that don't fit into that. Totally agree, not going to deny it. But for the longest time, there has been a vast population of warriors who have absolutely hated late kata mid kata and certainly miss of pandaria because the warrior did not feel like the class that they chose and blizzard is moving back to try and bring bring that back into the fold i'm okay with it a lot of people aren't i love fury right now <laughs> some people don't that is where it is it's right on the fence guys personally i think it's absolutely great it's really reactive really responsive it's constantly evolving and changing and mixing and matching the potential for downtime when there's no wild strike procs no uh, blood surges and whatnot that happens but very very rarely and usually you pick straight back up and get going into the furious time again and i personally two thumbs up two thumbs up that's my look at fury without being too overly excited because i know this one is sat on the fence i know people are having mixed opinions on it I totally understand why, because basically they're two completely different styles of play. They're two completely different specs. So either way, that's how it's going to be. That's how it is. I'm on board. You might not be. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.